So, uh, welcome everyone. Um, thanks for joining me for this uh, live event um, where we're going to link up um, with, fingers crossed, um, uh, way out in Freetown. Um, and um, we're also going to have a chat with uh, one of the members of Way Out who's here in London at the moment, uh, Mash P, who's one of the uh, musicians. Um, and he's going to discuss uh, a video that he's produced. And then we're going to play that video for you. Um, so the plan for today um, is we're going to speak um, directly to uh, there's one person that I've been working with a lot uh, myself. I'm Kieran Mitten, by the way, um, in the Department of War Studies. Um, we're going to be speaking to Mohammed S. Kamara, or MSK as we know him. Um, and I'm going to ask him a little bit about the work he's been helping me with. Um, the work that he does in, in Way Out. Um, and once we've talked about that, um, we'll then have some performances um, from the guys at, um, uh, at Way Out. Um, we're having, as, as can be expected, we're having a, a little bit of internet co connectivity issues, but we'll hopefully be fine. Um, and, and then after that, if there's time left, um, hopefully we can have some questions. Um, it'd be great if people have you know, got questions for yeah. the artists. Cool. Hello, hello, hello. Are we Hi. back? Are You're we back. back. Yeah. You're guys. Okay, so we'll, we'll switch the order things around while the internet is with us. Um, hopefully, um, Danny, if you're able, we can, we can, we can involve now directly uh, MSK and yeah. say hi to the, the, the guys in Freetown. Um, so I think they should be on screen, hopefully. We. Hey. Yeah, yeah. MS. Yeah, hello, hello everyone. I'm How are you Mark, doing? I'm on camera, MSK popularly known, a filmmaker, actually. I'm happy being part of this discussion, African Youth, African Week. Thanks, uh, MS, it's great to have you. Um, next to you, who's, who's this? Please introduce yourself. This is Yusuf Kamara, guys, the paper point. Yeah, and you already know, I'm for the rest of you guys. Must be Mama is there. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Who have we got at the end? My name is King Blaster, but my real name is Kevin Ekaba. I'm a poet. Okay, excellent. So, MS, one of the things that would be good to explain for, for a lot of the people watching who don't know about Way Out or even really that much about Sierra Leone, can you explain what Way Out is, what it does, and, um, and you know, maybe talk about some of the work that you've been doing with your kind of filmmaking? Um, actually, um, 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 personally, I want to say thank you to Way Out um, for giving me the opportunity taking part of this particular platform. Um, Way Out is a charity organization based in Sierra Leone, but um, it's actually a UK organization that is running in Sierra Leone here, working with street youth, less privileged and disadvantaged youth. And um, we also create a platform of like music, music, um, filmmaking, and also um, our poets try to create that platform, art platform for the street youth and less privileged. And I've been working, I've been, I've been um, part of Way Out as a member since 2013 to now, and now as a filmmaker, and now serving as a staff member in the organization which has taken from one level to another as before like in the community that i actually groom up from which is susan's bay one of the slums within the heart of the city um like we are not actually like um, appreciated within the community we are living before but like with the help of way out and also then debating our 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 hustling from the unusual things that we used to do to like the film making it transform our life from one point to another. And now that like, they are looking up to, to us that we out as produce within the community as another role models. So these are some of the things that we out actually has done in the life of youth in Sierra Leone and also within the borders because we have other Liberia, Guinean people who are coming in using the facility which like the doors open. Okay, great. And, and, and the kind of work you've done, are, are you filming anything? I know we've been working on, on a documentary on around the clique 
Is there other things that you've been working on yourself, kind of documentaries or other projects? What kind of things have, have you been doing? Yeah, yeah, probably I will be working on different, different projects. Uh, we'll see like this a platform we are in, like after you've been taught in way out, um, you've got the chance to go and like build up ideas and try to see how you can and then build up, build up your, your filming skills. And I was working, I'm, I'm currently working on a film, um, Despite the Gang movie that we're doing with you, Karen, and I'm working on another movie, another documentary, um, which is something related to justice system in our country. Yeah. And okay. There are other research actually that um, we did with Falji, who's not currently here. But we did, we work on a movie, Ghost Killer, Try to Ghost Killer, we went out there, researched with um, our um, gangsters, try to know their story and also see how we can get all what they've said and try to get a formidable um, movie out of what they've said and which will actually happen. We've just done shooting the movie and now we are working on the editing. It's it's a walking progress. Yeah, it sounds really interesting. I, I heard about this and I'm looking forward to seeing it. Um, it's one of the things I like about what, what you all do is that you, you give people the chance to tell their own stories. And, and you know, not just tell the stories, but film the stories, make the stories, produce um, what comes out of it. Just tell us, where are you, by the way? I, I should have started out by asking, where, where, where are we right now? Um, where are you sitting? Uh, we are uh, one of the, the slums within the western part of Freetown, Kaltin. Um, this is one of the locations where we actually uh, 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 our, our scenes in the movie. So, like, um, this is one of the uh, within the uh, within the city. If you're thinking about the poor areas, you understand. You consider the slum area. People live down the slum. That's where I come from, and most of our our members. That's where we come from. We come from the slum. Mm. So, um, now, like we're making this transformation, but like this is Kaltin community, Kaltin Kiru community, and uh, it's a slum community. Yeah. Okay, thanks, MS. So I'm going to hand over to you guys now. Um, I know that there's there's a lineup of people who, who are going to give us some different performances, um, and maybe it's easier if you can kind of introduce um, the guys as they go, or they can introduce themselves. Um, as, as I know Gatsby's work really well, um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, and I, I know like Mash P's music, there's a lot of great stuff that you guys produce. Um, but there's a lot of you and there's a lot of work going on, so I don't know it all. So um, if you want to introduce people, um, and I'll just kind of be quiet over here. Yeah, with that, I think Way Out has built that confidence in, in most of us. I think everyone is actually capable of doing that. Gatsby can yeah. do this. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, and as you already know, and for the other the other guys there who didn't know Gatsby, this Yusuf Kamara from the streets of Freetown to where are and now a point, the gangster point. So I'm here to do a a little piece, a rap point that I tied to my life. It's about my life, you know. And so <clears throat> My life is my life and I'm responsible to live it. I choose the life I live. Nobody can tell me how to do it. Can't join the fast lane cause I want for make name or move life the wrong way just for the fake fame. For so long now I've been moving on the low low. Try for land the things them what a man they don't know. Side of what on pass if they ask so man no go one go. Go to buy na boutiques, I be bongo with me Congo. Why should get money? This small everything a bingo. Yeah man, you don't know. Say I saw the thing go. But this rap game if I take shot na clean goal. Green goal, green goal, let we go na farm and fet pool. Come back na town, move around with some big dough. Cause the low life too tough and a damn complex. The streets theft done rough, we survive with reflex. Struggle to the face day to day, make up perplex. Prove me wrong, prove me right. Come and ask the nigga apps. Faces have been true to my level. Yeah, it's too much. Street life, thug life. All I know is this life. So I'm telling you for survive, I was sleep with another man's wife. She sound crazy if I'm rapping about street life. Hard life, broke life, surrounding my cold wall. So fairness, I don't feel, I don't see, but in all small, the poly too tall. Would I make a camera? Don't you give me the kaya? Puff, puff, pass, you know the rules of the ghetto. 
place we survive, place we burn out, always stress, always sorrow, survive with big dreams. <laughs> yo, yo, this guy's beat it for point, and I'm gonna stop you up for now, Kian, you already know. I... Man, that's good. I don't know how you remember <laughs> so many lyrics. Um, okay, let me ask you a question, MS, before we move on. Just for yeah. me. So, the language that you're using, right? Um, a lot of people won't necessarily understand all of all of the meanings. So, can you explain, like, in a few words, maybe what what this poem was about for those that wouldn't understand Creole? Okay, this poem is about uh, the life. You, the life, and uh, you, you, my life is about my life. An individual. Every individual have the right to choose the life he or she want to live. I'm trying to explain that I choose the life I live. It's about my life. I, 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 this poem is about my life. I talk about things that I've gone through in my life and what I decide to do with my life, I, how I want my life to be. You know, the studies that I've gone through in life to this level, it's just about that. It's about my life, basically. Brilliant. Thanks, guys. That was great, man. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we can take you um, on to another performer. Yes, okay. Our poet. A poet, a musician, Dunik. Dunik, uh, a musician actually, Dunik, will be performing one of his songs. Yeah. Yeah. C'est comment? Ça va? Moi, je crois, c'est pas français. Yeah. Je fais faire petit freestyle pour vous. Cool. Allez, Axel. Mbrabeto, 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 nubada, mbrabeto, 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 nubada, bad man. Unakana pass pass barai, bramata maganja minfe pass pass barai. Brabeto 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 nuba adam, brabeto 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 nuba adam bad man. Unakana pass pass barai, bramata maganja minfe pass pass barai. Mamba kaka miki dona miris tim tomi, misani blana nyira na wama sofe wogi. Allah tala menga ra misani na naki. That woman never got to the young master of the run, the brown son, and no name. That someone never he, they get my bath of foreign of vampire bay and a megan jackilo, and a two real rate, the man and the win, and my baby, yes, sir. Brabetum, 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 Unakana pas pas marai, ramata maganja mi fe pas pas marai, brabetum 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 no badam, brabetum 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 no badam, bad man. Unakana pas pas marai, ramata maganja mi fe pas pas marai, asta man neto farabi ana min. Wa isu se puti pistai, yo fe an puti lege o shikwaino, asu onela pu isu se puti pistai. Je pe la sui, uma se suze politik ni mena se zwam. Mais comme le foie, le paradis nous menace, on a des larmes, l'Afrique est sous menace, et pas des crimes, on en est là, la scie, le parti que le mêlé n'est tout est sorti par tes doigts, on a des larmes, l'Afrique nous menace pas, tout est politique, moi de sale type, et l'Afrique a une paradise, attends, we have music, you know, on est là juste le petit freestyle, le sens est crime. Man, the politics me menace this war. The party party pulls a crime. The sun menace the who so far from the sea. But the streets are left. Man, the party street. On the left, the paradise, the paradise. Africa, the paradise, the paradise. Que tu viens de soir, pas le souci d'un nom. Just a petit freestyle with art music, my partner. We let the fun, we let the fun. We cut the matter to stop. Oh, we cut the matter to stop. But then, so the matter beat the boss. We keep the matter to the boss. We keep the matter to the boss. Not to the boss. Not to the boss. Art, reggae freestyle. Hey, reggae freestyle, man. That was cool. Didn't understand a word of it, but it was good. My name is King Blaster. Already know a voice from way out, and I'm here to do a poem titled. I can change my lifestyle. And next, I'll be going to a poem named The System. I go. If I could change my lifestyle. Optimal. If I could change my lifestyle, the way I pull out a smile, but deep inside, all is not fine. If I could change my lifestyle, the way people see me in front of their eyes, the way people think of me is not who I am. If I could change my lifestyle, I would start by shipping off those relationships that makes me smile because they cause so much emotional stress. I would stand straight and pose next to those who don't know my restless feelings of regret. I couldn't imagine how it would be if I changed my lifestyle. The system. Dear Lord, 
I'm sorry to say this, but I have a question that I need an answer. We are supposed to live in peace, so why do I see black slaves punished by their own slave masters? We try to be free, but we freeze in the hands of monsters. Monsters who don't care that the poor suffer or grumble about the government, the ugly system, the system. So why do they tell us that education is the key? When they know that a good job needs connection, government supports political influence, not gradation. Dear Lord, our system needs fixing. All I see are poor people persuaded to believe that right is being done. The system goes from bad to worse. They say we are government of the people, by the people, and for the people. When they gain power, they abuse and starve the people, use the people against each okay. other. We swim in a silent pool. Dear Lord, I'm asking all this question on behalf of the hungry children, poor men and women. Lord, we need a savior to free us from this senseless system. Our blood is, is injected yeah. with corruption. No cure, no option is left now for us but to die of silent sickness. The system. We see a lot of selfishness acts, but we are speechless to so stay the fact the system. Silence, pain, peace on our hearts, the system. We are like children forced to walk on a narrow path, the system. Greed, selfishness, and pride is what we see in our politician hearts, the system. Dear Lord, I stand here to ask, will you ever be free of this wounded system? In Blaster. Sir, Kassar. Kassar, Kassar. We are out point. Will Denise remember to water my flowers? Will Denise remember to water my flowers? Where I was beaten with a wooden stick, where men was bleed, where I was kicked, where I was nearly killed, an infant among adults with ambitious dreams, where I refused to retreat, but where I retreated. We then remember to water my flowers. Where I was hungry, no food to eat. Where my mom told me she had no money. Where I slept on books with grumbling belly, grumbling belly, grumbling belly. We then remember to water my flowers. We then remember to water my flowers. Where I looked towards the east like the light of the sun. Where I saw a bread with a rainbow color. I lay in the money. Where the cock crows. Where the cock remind me. Casa, 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 go. We then remember to water my flowers. We then remember to water my flowers. Ben Kelfala fets this corruption. Ben Kelfala fets this corruption. 200 billion, 300 million procurement motor car this car cheap. 200 million, 300 billion procurement motor car this car cheap. No Ben Kelfala fets this corruption. No Ben Kelfala fets this corruption. No, they WhatsApp, they talk, man, talk, picking down at the hospital. Nobody no care, picking down at the hospital. Nobody no care. Whole granny lay down, they cry in a sick bed. Discrimination against the aged. Man, no rich infant, children not fed. No Ben Kelfala, fed this corruption. No Ben Kelfala, fed this corruption. No Ben Kelfala, fed this corruption. You make them call a man full at 40, now because of hardship. MPSC Beke was kept bribe, Ebola blood money. No Ben Kelpala fed this corruption. No Ben Kelpala fed this corruption. Kassa, Kassa. Is it, is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is, uh, we've just like done our performance with um, um, Kassa Sungo one of our, of our points in the way out and like that's the way like we've set up for this program so e excellent thank you very much um the the, the guy before who just gave us the um the, the poem on i think it was jabrila on on the system is yeah. this um, yeah, yeah. blaster yeah can, can we chat to him briefly okay. yes uh, hey hey how are you cool man my yeah. name is Blaster, and the system is a poem that I wrote about what is going in our system. Because yeah. It's totally, you know, going astray. We don't want to know what to say. So I just wrote this poem 
and the Mark II. Yeah. So what? So what is the system that you are talking about? The system is is talking about corruption, corruption and the government in every sector, like in the educational sector, while it's getting job, you know, to the people supposed to earn percentage of what is coming in as donor as any other sort of foundational support, but the, the, the people are having nothing. The people are just getting that price is going up. You know, they must have to get separation, nothing to feed their children. Everybody is just crying. More this time of coronavirus. That's why I said the system, we are injected by a corruption virus, by corruption. No cure, no option is left for us. Okay, and, and this was very similar to the, the last performance we had um, as well. It was the same theme about corruption, and you mentioned also the problem with Ebola and this kind of thing. Um, so you perform, do you perform these for, for, for the community as well? Do you perform your poems? How do people respond? Do people agree with what you say or? The people agree. I've, I've met so many people that listen to this. Once they listen to it, they say, wow, it's good. You are really talking about what is going on and we, lo and we really liked it. I've seen, I've played it to, uh, because I've, do I've done the audio and I've been playing it around. And people have, have been loving it. Okay. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Um, is, is Gaz that still there? Yeah, yes, Gaz, I'm still yeah. Here. Gaz, I was wondering if you wouldn't mind sharing a little bit more about your story because um, I think it's really interesting the way that you've been teaching yourself to write poems and this kind of thing. But um, maybe you can share as much as you want to share. If you can tell us about your story, what, what you want to share. Okay, I will share a brief of my story because my story is, is vivid, so broad and big. <laughs> I'll, call, I'll use all the time here if I say I'll tell my story. <laughs> but basically, Gaz, Gaz here has gone through a lot, has come from a lot, you know, a lot of obstacles. Like I said previously, thank, thanks to Way Out for showing me poetry, which have changed me now. To a better person in my community, you know, because before poetry, I was lost. I was that kind of gangster who just carries street activities in his head, <clears throat> going to talk and all that, you know. But even though while I was on the street, I was having this feeling that the street way is not the it's not the right path to move. Then I need to to find a way. We, to catch up with the, 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 the world train, the modern train, you know. So I started finding ways, I started finding ways, even though I was partaking in street activities like the bulldozing and other things, other stuff, you know. But I was still wondering to myself, sometimes if I sat down by myself, <clears throat> I'll be thinking, is this the life that I wanted to live? I'll, I'll, I'll have my kids one day. Then if I have kids, then the, 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 my kids met me doing this. Will they appreciate me as their father? Will they see me as a good father also? I was asking myself this kind of question, you know? So it was a burden on my heart because I'm that kind of person who, who, who have this conscience, who work with his conscience, you know? If I'm doing something that is wrong, my conscience will tell me that what you're doing is wrong. So if, if I continue doing that, I will drop passes, but my conscience, so, when I was in the street, my, 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 my conscience kept telling me this is not the right track. You need to find something to do. And I, I came from that kind of broke background, poor family, and our parents, our poor parents gave birth to five of us. They, they have to take care of all of us, you know. Then I've migrated and left them in the provinces and came to the city, capital Freetown, you know. So I have to find my way out. You know, so I, I started finding ways. But since I was in school, before I dropped out, <clears throat> I was I love writing. I never knew about poetry. Because even when I entered my senior secondary school, I I was in the science stream before everything just fucked up. I dropped and took the streets. You know, 
So, but when I was in school, like I was saying, I love writing. I love to write. I would write, 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 write. Even after school, while I, I was on the street, I still write, writing my raps, because I was doing music, not thinking of poetry. I was doing street raps, you know, rapping. What, what, were, what were the reaction of the, of the guys around you, right? When they saw you were writing on your phone, you were writing poems. Did you think yeah, you were yeah, crazy yeah. or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of my friends, it came to time, it came to time that after I've, I've discovered poetry in Way Out, it came to time most of my friends do like my calm because I don't have time with them. I'll give all my attention to my phone. Because, yeah, I'll, I'll give all my attention to my phone, doing my write, my basic writing on my phone. So even if they, they, they are trying to, say so, to explain something to me, they will not get my attention. So that, 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 that thing pisses them off. So they will say, guys, so I'm what's up? What's, in, what's going on with you? You just paying attention to your phone. I say, yeah, I'm finding, I'm finding, I'm, I'm getting nice time with my phone, you know. Then I would abandon the phone for some time, give them some attention, you know. Then later I'll go back to my phone. So it came to time, so a certain time, they, 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 I, I, they never came around me. So I would just be by myself. Even my one, two hangout chicks, you know, they too find it boring to be around me because all my attention. Because like I said, I was so desperate to find to find my way out of the street shit, you know. Because I did know it was not a good life, even though I was involved in it deeply. Because I have to survive. The main thing is survival. So even though you don't want to do this, but you have to, you have to eat. <laughs> you, you, you answered a question I was about to ask. So thank you, because I was going to say to you, why is it, you know, a lot of guys on the streets, they, they join the gangs or they, or they, they, you know, they get involved in, in kind of criminal things. The main, the main goal is survival. The main goal is to survive because in this life we need to survive. Imagine you spend one or two days without having a cent in your pockets, you know, then you sit down even to buy the, the jamba, the marijuana, which you smoke in the ghetto. You cannot afford to buy it. Then somebody just pop in and said, hey, come, go and abuse that lady for me. He's around my boyfriend also, you know? It get to you to have nothing to do to make money. You just go, even though you don't want to do it, but you've spent one or two days without having a cent in your pocket. Now somebody has come and attract you with fifty or hundred thousand that you just need to go and say some words, just words. <laughs> you know, you 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 just take the option. You know, so th this what for survival mainly. That, yeah. That's what's involved in most streets in some yeah. activities, bad activities in streets. So, you know, so I continue. I, I was still hanging out because I, I don't have no option. I don't have no way. If I said I quit the street where well, I don't have home to go or house to go. So I just, even though I want to change my life, so I need to be in the street. So I continue to be in the street. And because of my morphological, my body built, I, I, each, I, I became head of the street too that I'm hanging out with. So which which give me voice and edge over them. So they listen, they listen to me, you know. Whatever I told them, they do listen. But you know, so I was hanging around them. Uh, it came to, to a stage that some don't don't some don't some 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 just in love with the street activities. They just so in love with the street activities. They don't want to change. They don't want, they don't listen to, to the positive advice that I was giving them. So they started to to, to, to bring up some fracas, fracas, you know, some fraction in the in the food. So I decided to, to sit back and allow them to take out some position while I'll be giving them advice. That was after I've discovered we have a, a friend, a brother from another mother who introduced, who told me about we out. In fact, he didn't tell me about poetry, he told me about uh, there is a studio, there's a studio that has come in town that is helping street you to do their music. Like I was saying, I was just, I was doing music. Why is I on the street? I was concentrating on music. I was I was saying music is my is my hobby or it's my it's my own profession. That's where I was I was finding happiness. Like whenever I think of I've dropped out of school and I'm not I know I'm not in any uh, tech folk or any education educational center to learn whatever trade. I was thinking, okay, to give myself that kind of courage or peace, I said, okay, I'm a musician, I'm an artist. So I keep on pressing on this. I'll write my raps and all that, you know. So the boy just popped in one day and told me that there's, been, there's a studio that has come in town, which is giving help to street shoot, you know. 
So we did, so he, 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 he gave me the address of way out. So I visited the studio then, by then that was around 2000 and 2012, 2012, 13, 2012, 13. Yeah. So I went there. Yeah. So I, I was, I, I went through the process. Then I was given the chance to record a song and to do a video, which Jibu manager, Jibu, the current manager now, by then he was, he was, he was, he, was, he too was working there. Yeah. 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 So, so, so Jibu, Jibu is the man behind the yeah. camera right now, eh? Yeah. yeah he was <laughs> the man behind the camera right now and he's the man that did my first video uh, the song is called Fend the Money so I never I never think of 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 of, of poetry so but things didn't things didn't work out the way I was thinking of you know I thought after recording or the video I would just have a, somebody that would put money in me that promote me or so but things never work out the way then I have to survive so I need to go back to the streets and do stuff to survive you know I never stayed that long, so I I, go, I went back to the street. Mm -hmm. After some time, but like I said, this this thing was still hitting me up that I need to change. This is not the life that I wanted to live. I need I need something that was I would, that, that the community was proud of me. Oh. Now my community know, knows me as a street talk. Whenever they want to do something like bulldozing and and and, and assault or to can, beat up someone, can you explain? Can you explain what bulldozing is for people that don't know? Okay, bulldozing is like. Bulldozing is a, is a term that is used in, in this land fighting, you know, like, for example, Mr. A has bought this land and Mr. B also has bought the same piece of land and they are fighting for the land. Let me say Mr. A has constructed maybe palm body or, or a fence or whatever. So Mr. B will go and hire some thugs that will come and bulldoze, <laughs> take off everything from the land and clear the land for Mr. A to access, Mr. B to access his or her land, you know. That's what bulldozing is. So, <clears throat> so I wanted my community to know me for something good that, that, that they were proud of, not like whenever they want to do negative thing, they will come to us. I usually say this to these boys. Yeah, let's think. There are good things that are coming in the community. These, these elders don't think of us. Whenever they want to do something bad, negative, that's the time they will come and show us money to do this act. This is not a lie. Then, coming, going on, going on, going on. I tried, on a, I tried other stuff. I take some youth from the city. I went with them to the provinces to do some, basically gold mining, it doesn't work. Then we come to sand mining, it doesn't work. And we came back to the city. Then I think of what to do again. That's how I went to way out for the second time. And, and I went to way out. I, I, I was lucky, the first, the first students of the poetry have just done with their level one and, and cause of poetry. So I was inspired by those students. When I get to the building, they were talking about poetry, poetry, poetry. And I've been hearing about this poet, poet, poet in raps mostly. I never know about poetry. I haven't read any poem book in my school days. You know, we, we, in this part of where we, where we attended school, People, we, we students have this mentality like I'm an art student. I don't pay attention to subject that relates to the science. Likewise, the, the, the science don't pay attention to any subject that's more involving the, 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 the art. So that's how it is. So I will just read this my science, my science. So I never know about poetry. So when I get to the building way out, the likes of Mickey, Sue, Court, Turkish, Green Box, and others, we are, poet we are talking about this poetry. poetry. So I get attract, attracted, I get attracted. So I enrolled for the next level. That was around 2017 years. So that's how I started writing poetry. And since I found poetry, poetry has been a great tool in changing my life because poetry, poetry taught me to be sincere in your writings. And I've implemented that with my whole life. Even if I'm, I'm dealing with somebody in the dark, I'll try to maintain my integrity and all that. So that's how, that's how I'm enjoying the piece of poetry. And I don't want to keep this feeling to myself. I decided to form an organization that will help street youth out there. Because I know there are lots of street youth that are involved, that are, that are trapped in the street, trapped, you know, like me before. And I want to use my poetry to help them gain the right path and catch up to the wooden trim yeah so
Thanks, Frank. Right. Guys, guys, thanks so much, man. That's, that's really uh, inspiring. And um, I'll, I'll, at the end of this, I'll, I'll let people know about some of the the publications where they can see some of your poetry and that of others. But thanks for thanks for sharing your story. It's um, it's not easy, but you you know you're trying and you're you're making it work. I will still try and never give up. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, thanks, so we're, thanks for the platform and all that. You know. Of course, sir. of course, yeah. And hopefully, we'll, we will have a chance to do something like this again um, in the not not too distant future. I think um, so. So, Mash Mash has been watching everything. Um, Mash P is in, in in London right now. He's been nodding and agreeing with lots of things. He's also enjoying some of the performances a lot. Um, and it's a good it's a good point to to go over to Mash. If hey, it's a brother. Shout out to brother Mash P. Shout out to you, brother. I know you enjoy this man. Shout out, man. Shout out. <laughs> I've never give no, a you already know, give a damn Gaza, West Coast, West West, <laughs> West, 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 West. <laughs> I feel you, man. I feel everybody. I feel you, man. man. Shut up, man. Hello, yeah. bro. Enjoy your yeah, man. man. Peace. Salute. You know, yo, yo, yo man. Shut up, man. SM. Yeah, man. SL number one. The shout out all day. Yo, you know, my nigga. Yeah, man. That's how we do, man. And we still there, man. Don't yeah, forget. Man, down, Don't forget. We're way down. out. The family. The family. Yo, 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 way out family, way out family, <laughs> orange. Oh, guys. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, Mash, Mash. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, following on from, uh, from Gaz, from what Gaz was talking about, he was saying how important poetry was for him for changing his life or for trying to make a change. For you, your musician, how, why is music important to you? What does music do for you? Well, um, um, to my brother, I know him from the street. I quite know him from the street way back. We used to live together on the street, live around the, the hood. You know, that's, yeah, it's real. Yo, and yo, to me, music is like, <laughs> music saved my life. Because since I was on the street, he knows me. <laughs> I have nothing else more than music. And... Uh, when I when I found way out, I learned a lot. I have so many things that I have um, forced myself to learn because I I want to make it without music. Even without music, I want to help other people with what in my brain. Like he was saying, the poet the uh, the, the the poetry changes life. Music changed my life because we used to know each other a lot. Really, we used to do stuff went back on the street you know so so then uh, poetry changing his life yeah that's a thousand salute for that yeah yeah so as for me music is <laughs> it's like an angel to me music is not like an angel like when you you lost you were really lost yeah you were in the dark then an angel came and like a bright light to you that's that's music to me because um way back when i was nine uh, my my story got changed my story changed so after some years back you know when i came the family my family did not really appreciate me yeah <laughs> it's really hard to start saying stuff yeah, it's it's a it's it's a difficult. You've had a really difficult path, right? We know we know that. But I, I mean, I, I I saw something recently. I, I mentioned to you before on Twitter. I saw a picture of you with Frank Turner, yeah, musician Frank Turner. Yeah, and I, I was thinking about the path that you've taken. You know, it's like it's crazy. Sometimes it must be weird for you thinking about it. But you've been doing, you've been performing, like you know. A, a lot of public performances, but you've been performing with Frank Turner and others, and like the music is now, you know, like the thing that people know you for. This is kind of like Mash P, the artist. Um, this is like the, the this has got to feel like quite a positive change from 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 where you came from, from from a situation in the past. Yeah, sure, because being an ex combatant or child soldier is it's not really easy when when people will like stig the stigma and the other, because I migrated, I was born in Tayama and I was captured in Kenema for quite a long time. After 
coming back after war, coming back after they said um, the Tijan Kabar government end the war and try to re re rehabilitate people. Well, they forced, they, they, they take me to my family. They never accept me back. So it's like, if they tried, they just tried just to, to not neglect me. But when I was at home, even my mother used to tell me that I was like, I have the rebel blood in me. I have so many things stigma me. So I, I thought it fit that, no, I think I need to go somewhere where nobody knows me. And even though I was around the, the vicinity of my family, people knows me, you know, I, I taught it again that I have to move far away from that region, not knowing that um, people knows about me. So I moved to Freetown. I start living on the street, working for people just to survive. Yeah, because these people I work for, they don't know me. They don't know my past. They don't know my story. I don't tell them my story, you know. So things was real hard. So I found that music was the only thing that I can, yeah, that cannot even tell me who I am. So it's like I, I start playing this track, even though I was not good, I was not really in it. So it starts coming. I start working for people just to have music, just to, just to work on music, you know, go studio to studio, just to track. But by them, I was like, 14, 15 years, you know, then I was keep moving on in the music. Then I, 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 sometimes I sit down and cry. See, am I not going to be a musician? Am I not going to be somebody else? Who, where am I going? Yeah, sometimes I really get mad of tired being on the street because it's really hard. Yeah, I can understand. Some of us, we, we got really, really mental health issues because we think a lot on how to survive, where to sleep, you know. If you have where to sleep, you're thinking of surviving a day to have a meal. Yeah, we don't, <laughs> like, right now, I'm used to it. I can, there's a thought, I cannot even eat for, for like, um, the end of the day. Yeah, just one meal. I'm used to it. All of us living on the street, we must live with that, that thought in our brain. So this is hard for us. So this is one of the things that I was going through. So I keep working for people, you know, do all jobs for people. Yeah, still doing my music. I work for people and they give me a little sum of money. I go back to the studio. Yeah, just to survive again and do my music. So finally, because I don't want to go real deep, deep into stuff. Then I, I, I was in the ghetto for a couple of like 12 years on the street after the war. That's, a part, that's another part living my life. You know, I used to like being on the street, like, like um, um, Gaz was staying, yeah? yeah? I remember there was an incident at the, the Milton Magai field. Uh, he was part of the, 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 the gang, gang team called Give a Damn. And I was like um, Black, Black Knight, representing Black Knight. But we, eat, we know each other, you know. We were like grabbing people's market just to survive. Grabbing, you know. When I did it as the leader, gang, uh, leader of the gang, when I grab it, everybody follows. That market is going to be finished, really. It's going to be... Uh, so we are happy... But because our lives are now coming to a change. So we want to prove to other people that they still, they also can change their life if they're determined. Like, I enjoy his point. I really feel that point right inside me because you live the life you want to live. You decide the life you want to live. Yeah, if you, if you are a bad person you and you're determined, even though it's really hard, right to change that then people will just see you like no he's not he's not serious he's not he's not about serious thing he's just it's gonna be the same person you know you really try your best to change and people down there looking at you are ah, it's the same mash it's the same gas you know it's the same people 
They're not never going to change. Like me, my mother, my family, that's what they, they always said to me. You know, he's not going to change. He's always a rebel. He's got a rebel. Sometimes I keep my mouth shut and think, how am I going to, I think about my future. So he's like, such like that. In um, like 2015, early 2015, I was in a, in a, in a ghetto representing a team called TIA, Talents in Africa, which we have so many talent in there, in that ghetto. You know, I was representing that team after um, moving myself from Black Knight, you know, from the Peninsula Axis, coming to the Abadin Road. Because each time somebody knows about my story or I saw somebody from my home at that part, who knows my story, I have to move because I don't want people to spread out the news because, you know, Sierra Leoneans are quick to spread news. Yeah, that's really, that's really the, the, the thing I really hate about them, whether it's true or not. But, you know, sometimes they said, people who said things a lot, it might be true a bit and the, the uh, half of like false news, you know, but they will say things that, bad and other people will not even want to come close to you you know so i was sitting in that uh, ghetto then i and the 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 the, the, the elder of the like uh the the boss of the team his name is sola b so was having a, a video shoot not knowing that there was somebody who was on the street has been transformed in, in way out as a camera person. He was trying to learn as well to do a video, a filmmaking and a video producing. So he was like trying to show himself to, to the boss. So I was fortunate to be on that video. Yeah, so I, I fall in love with the camera so much. I fall in love with the camera and I, I told, I went to the guy and said, um, man, can I be your, learning boy can i be your your can i be your boy can i be somebody who will be carrying equipment i want to know this thing he said no you can't you you don't you might need money he said no man you don't know me i said i need this so he, he leave me and we we go through all the video it was like the song was go try it was really, really go try. Is go try. It was talking about everybody has to take the chance. The song. So that song motivated me, and I was like, "Oh, I can do it to myself." And after some time, I have this song because I used to have uh, songs on my CDs, which I have done with other studios, which I have paid by my hard work working for other people, odd jobs, really, laundering for people, cleaning their compound. Yeah, just to survive, like my brother was saying, we do stuff to survive. So later he came to me and said, well, I love this, your song, because my song was talking about exactly my past. Not only my past, but things that have happened to me on the street, because I sometimes really, I don't want to talk, put my, music and my past together really really but it's it's it seems that everybody says you need to walk this out with this it's really hard for me to do that i feel some kind of pain really we feel that pain we all feel that pain to include something that is very 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 people some people will not understand some people will understand you know like in the European world, people who just said, no, you were just a kid. But to me, sometimes really, <laughs> it's hard for me to forgive myself because I've done a lot in the past. Yeah, but yes, music, I don't want my, sometimes I don't want my past to be com com uh, compared or brought near to my music career because I want to make it. I want to make it out there's a code in my brain that i'm running i'm ruling towards really that always in my brain even anybody that tries to stop me 
I get mad at that person because there's something in my brain that I, I still want to achieve it. I want to show the, the world. I want, I want to show people. I want to show my family that all is not lost by me. I can even try. I can try more than people who have never been through such conflict before. Yeah, that's really in me. So this friend do my video. I was trying to come back to trace my video. Even though he told me, he never told me about way out and to be precise, like he, he did not explain for way out, but he just told me there's a place where you can land this. You know, you don't need to be to be like being behind me, you know. But I never knew that I'm going to this place on my own. So at one day, I've wait, waited, waited for quite a long time about for my video because that's my first video in my whole life. So I wanted to see this. I wanted to see this. So I went to him. It was a raining season, like 2000. Yeah, it was a raining season. Early 2014. So like, it, I grabbed the the video. And I went back. Later, he told he came back to the organi to the, the the ghetto, and told me, "That's the place. That's called way out. You know, the only thing you need is concentration. Yeah, but I don't think you can able because you have a lot of talent in your brain. You know, you have a musical talent, but you have you just need patience." And I told him, "I can do it." I can do it," he said. He never. He said, "Okay, maybe you 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 find a time to come." So I finally find the time in 2015. I came back to where, I, and I was there for a couple of months before knowing that you have to register yourself legally. So I registered. I registered, and I start doing my music, <laughs> which, because. Even without meeting where I was like in the community performing music all around and I was enjoying myself, not only enjoying myself, but when I'm always performing, I, I forgot, I forgot that I'm performing for people. You know, I perform for myself. The feelings came in me. So I perform for myself. It's not about people. I don't care if people, people, <laughs> people enjoy me. I don't care. That's why I feel it. I feel the emotion in me. So I enjoy it. So uh, when when I perform, people who come and say, oh, you go, you. So that keep, keep me more going. You know, so my first track was, uh, um, the first track I did with Way Out was Mr. President. You know, I was first featured on a um, Ebola song. So they gave me the chance to give give me a whole song. So they they really tried very, very much. One to transform me. Because I was really, I was really a madman on the street at one point. You know, to transform me. Really, I I'm really grateful to the staff of Way Out. Even though because we all have mental health issue, trust. There's nothing that to 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 skip. We all have things we always think about, you know. So to go through all these people, to to just like me, <laughs> I'm a real hard work. Yeah, to see way out. So <laughs> they they really tried. They really tried. To tame some of us, you know, <laughs> it's like when you have a wild animal, or well, you know, how to trap that animal to how you want it. It's really hard work. You have to understand, you have to really go through some studies, you know, but and I I I can say thousand salute for Chibo. Never mind, you know, all the things we have put them through, you know, let them keep walking hard, you know, because some of us believe that way out is the only hope for us. Trust. They have so many organizations who claim to be, but 
trust we have a quite it's quite really different you know i can never believe that <laughs> i'm living in this part of the world now yeah but i know this story i can tell it to anybody even to my great grandchildren i will tell them who i was and how far i came this far yeah so i did my my son mr president because i want to see things change in my country i really need things to change in my country because there are a lot of us you know a lot of people like us the ex combatant the street gangsters you know who have drove away from their family who their family never want them again you know because of yes yeah, some of us now like me i'm proud of we are because my mother who used to throw me away now can can be proud of me and say he's my son he's my son that's one thing i can say thousand salute to we are for it's one thing yeah it's one real thing because my mother was really really upsetting me all the time telling people who are worse yeah so that's one thing that i hope way out back and i promise myself not way out not anybody i promise if i become successful in the world i have to pay back i have to pay back i owe the street i own the people i own way out that back yeah even if i i know maybe i cannot do it to way out but i can do it for the street people i can do it i can change somebody's life yeah because way out did not give up on me that's the most important thing because i'm a real nasty person some people who see me performing on the stage you know my past yeah it's really hard but i believe now with music like i always say music saved my life there's nothing about that there's nothing change there's nothing music changed my life music saved my life like my brother was saying poetry <laughs> some people think that i can be a poet but don't know you know i see to myself i don't enjoy the way i enjoy myself performing for other people because when i'm in the stage i'm like a lion real lion on the stage i enjoy myself again i want to say thanks to jibo because i gave him a lot of hard time yeah i'm so sorry about that yeah but i'm sorry it is what i want in my life music is what i want there's nothing but music is what i want music is music music is what has the, the feelings to me music is what makes me forgot about my past and the camera right i came to realize that i have an eye to see and way out yeah using the camera i love my job i do with a camera when i came to where i just have music in my head mash mash yeah. and thank you so much for like this is really difficult i know for you to share and i appreciate you 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 telling us these really personal things i think it helps people understand what you're saying right it helps people realize this is not easy this is difficult and also the value of of music of 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 way out of of the kind of changes that are so difficult that maybe people from in other parts of the world take for granted or other parts of even Sierra Leone they, they don't appreciate um so thank you like it's really difficult and i know you um you know you it's not easy to think never mind to talk about these things so we're really yeah. thankful for that man um one of the things that we we're going to talk about actually and maybe you can introduce um is related to everything you you've been talking about and and some of the guys before when they were performing were talking about the system um is about all of these things that are keeping people in these difficult situations making it hard to 
to, to even have a meal by the end of the day, to have money in your pocket. Um, and you've, you've written a song, you've um, produced a video, which we're going to play. Do you want to just introduce that and explain, uh, yeah, yeah, explain yeah. what that's about? Well, when I get, I think it's bread and butter, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And now it's my favorite because I love, I love, I want, I want every Australian to even live on $50 a day, you know? Yeah, you know, the song is trying to talk about the system. And the system, like, back home, this politician, they will come to us because we are the need. We are the need. They, they will say, promise everything. They will say, we will do this. We will bring you, we will change your structures. We will change this um, 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 zinc house or whatever. You know, we'll change it to a good structure. We'll change the environment. We'll make sure, like this present government was talking about bread and butter before coming in. They, 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 they were talking that, oh, when we come, every Australian is going to be fine with food and everything. So, but now when they come, they don't even think about what they have been saying, you know? So it's like, it's, we the voters, they are using us like a fool, a bunch of food that they can only use. So you see, the, 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 the fact that I use the, the dump is to show that this is how they use us. This is how exactly we are in the eyes of these guys. They, they think that they are clever, you know? So... Bread and butter is talking about every damn thing they said. It's not really every damn thing because you can't say every damn thing in one song. So I got a couple of songs that are still on, on hold. The GK Media, which is Jibo, is still working on them, you know. But like this song is really for my heart. When I came back, the when I first when I went back to when before coming back to um, UK. I met the, the, uh, a producer called Jack, which they gave me the chance to um, produce a song with. So I thought it fit that I can, I can do this. And I do, do that track with him, tied to Bread and Butter. And the video was shot by Just the Hopes. That's why I always thousand salute to the Way Out staff for hard work, for working with the street youth, you know. and it, <laughs> I believe that when, if you support the way out, more of those things will be done more. Yeah, okay. so. Uh, thank you, that, that, that's great. We're gonna, um, we're gonna switch the video. I'm just gonna say to, to people, if they have any questions, I should have said this earlier, but you know, better late than never. If you wanna put your questions as a little Q and A box, you can ask questions for anyone. Um, the guys are still there in, in Freetown, Marsh is there, like um, I can ask the questions. Um, if you put them in the box and, you know, it can be about anything. They don't have to answer if they don't want to. Um, but um, I'm going to hand over to uh, Danny, who's going to hopefully <coughs> share, share the screen and, and play the video so we can, we can have a, a watch and a listen. Now you don't have to go. What are they run and we die? 
We, we put the link mash into the into the chat so everybody can uh, have a listen so as I say if anyone has any questions just put it into the into the q a section um, for now uh, going back to the guys in the guys in free time um, I want to just kind of hand back to you and if there's anything that you want to say because so far I've been kind of asking you questions asking you to tell the story but maybe you can tell us what we should know are there things that you would like to say while you have this audience here um, about about anything really, but maybe in particular about you know the kind of the the music, the art, the poetry that you're recording, and and, and life in free time. Oh yeah, um, absolutely. I want to say just to say something related to like um, street youth actually, and uh, I will say kudos to all street youth in Africa as a whole because. It's actually very, 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 very difficult living in the streets of Sierra Leone or Africa as a whole, in most of the country in Africa, sleeping on market tables, you know, um, living with the arrangements of corpse, you know, in and out, and also very difficult to get your daily bread, which, like my brother Marsh, is just talking about the bread and butter, very difficult to get a three meal a day. You know, there is no opportunity like that. And if you look into the employment, there is no better employment for youth. And also there are also issues of underemployment. Even if you got your skill, you understand, for you to actually get what you want or what you're supposed to get out of your skill, um, you find it very difficult to get what you are supposed to actually get. And um, these are some of the issues actually bonding the whole country. You know, the, the, the false promises from the politicians and also um, some of the things that are actually not going on right in the country. So like we, as a um, street youth, we looking up to more platforms like fellowship, you know, scholarship, and also funding that will help us, you know, the well recognized in our society again 
because they already know now that we are up to something. We are now working as media practitioners. Some of us are filmmakers, some of us are musicians, some are boys, you understand? But like the platform that we will get internationally, like um, uh, Max has already started having his own platform, which we are all happy for. That's a plus to weigh out and also to him, like for it to, to rule more and more, you understand? These are some of the things that we're looking for such platform more for streets to Inside, because not actually easy. So many people are blocking our roads, you know? There are no accessible roads for, for, for street you to make it, you understand? So like, we're looking up to more of um, help to weigh out youth and also youth in Africa, advocating for every youth in Africa, if it be possible. We are dropout, we, we are school dropout actually. But like we went through way out and also belong to our society again. Now our society are also looking up to us to see how we can impact what we've got. And with that, I think we need to upgrade ourselves more and more. So I'll start here for now. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yes. Just, just, yeah. Yes. Uh, actually, I want to throw light on Crime to Career, which is my organization. I want to use this opportunity to, to say this here because I know there are other people who are watching this, who are taking part here. Please, please, I have found, I have found so much peace in poetry. Like I said previously, I don't want to keep this feeling to myself because I know there are a lot of youth in the street that, that are trapped in street activities who are lost like me before. So since, since I have found poetry and poetry have opened my eyes, have shown me the way to, to, to the right track to, to catch up with the, the, the mood and train. I want to use this opportunity to help release other streets that are trapped in street activities down, down there. That is why I come. That's why I'm not, I'm not I, I advocating for my personal and, 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 and personal to, 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 to upgrade my to upgrade my me personal and I'm doing this for, for an organization that will help other youth out there, more especially those that have worked with and those that have not worked with, you know. I'm 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 I'm, I'm kindly apologizing or pleading to all of you that, that are listening here. Mama Eze will soon create a link because we've, we've already, the organization already have a, a project at hand which is taking street suits from the street and take them to the farm to do, to engage them in some agricultural activities. Because you know, a street suit, based on the, 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 based on what they know about street suit, it is hard for, for street suit to be accepted in his community after what you've gone through the street life. People still see you as the same person, no matter what you do. Um, I'm still suffering from that, even though now I'm, I'm a boy, but I'm still suffering. People, people are still watching me in my community like that first man. So I want to show them that I'm now changed. And I don't want to stop to myself. I want to take these changes to other youth around the community so they will know that there's this, a change man now, and he has helped other street youth to change their life. That's why we formed this organization, Street and Crime to Career. So we've decided to take Street Street, Mama Ezel, to, to the, 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 the monitor of Way Out. Mama Ezel is aware about this. We are planning to take Street Street to the farm to engage on some agricultural activities. So we, have to, we have a farm base. We are in, we'll be taking Street Street from the street. We will spend like a year or two in the farm, helping to integrate them. Get a steady mind for before taking them to, their, to the doors of the career they have chosen before going to our family. So soon, Mama Eze will, 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 be, will be doing some fundraising and we need some fun to see that actualized, that proposal actualized. Okay, man. So I, I will share the link. When, when, that, when, that, when that link is there, then I'll, I'll share it around. Um, so we'll put the word out and, and let people know. Um, crime, crime to career and and uh, and the farming project. We'll, we'll share the link when uh, when it's created on the website. I have, I have a question here about um, women and uh, and girls in way out. Um, where where are the girls? Are there are there girls in way out? Are there are there women in Sierra Leone? <laughs> we have we have we have girls. Way out is actually trying. 
we are some girls. Actually, trying the best out of in order like to get more girls on board. Yeah, girls, they have a special unit operating. Susan is the head that um, she is on a, on a project. That's why like I mean she didn't show, up. but like um, we actually create a platform for for women, you know, on the street and also less people. <laughs> So like yeah. there are women who are filmmaker now working with success story working at SLBC, our tele one of our our national television stations, and also um there are others now who are working as freelancers. You know they've got all the help from way out. And within the poetry group, I think we we've got about about two of them who are very vibrant working there. And way out is creating more and more platform for them because why they're going through film making calls and also and the graphic design and the like. So in that area, um, we actually we, we do have women who are vibrant, yeah. and more than men. Yeah, uh, and and, uh, and there was a program I think even in in one of the women's prisons, um, um, kind of going in and. And doing music and poetry and that kind of thing. So there's yeah, there's a lot going on at Way Out. Um, guys, we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up there. Thank you very much. Thank sure. you, guys, MS, Jibo, everyone. Thank you, Mash. Um, you know, thank you for being so like it's a public, you know, we're in public here and you're and you're telling these personal stories, and it feels very one-sided, like you give us everything and we just we just watch, but we appreciate it and you know it's an, it's important and we value what you're saying um so thanks for taking the time um i don't know i don't know if we can see on the screen but i just wanted to show this is the uh this is one of the books they've written off um, yeah so this is way out a way out book poetry book there's quite a few if you go on amazon or you go on you go on the, the way out website you can find um there's collections of, of poetry there's all the other things that have been produced by members of Way Out. Um, guys, I know I've, I've read some of your work in here. Uh, I think it's this one, maybe it's the new one. There's, there's different ones and you can buy them as a kind of e-online kind of um, Kindle version as well. Um, so I, I encourage everyone to do that if you, if you like what you heard today. Um, thanks guys, um, take care. And um, I hope we can do this again. And by the way, I'm amazed at how good the, the internet was all around. In, in the UK and in, in Freetown, so it, it was it was it was a very good connection in the end. Thank you, MS Jibo. Thank you behind the camera for for, for doing all of the hard work. <laughs> hey, there he is. <laughs> to everybody, yo, Mash. Hey, Mash. 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 Hey, man. Mash. Mash. Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up, Mash. big up, Mash. up. Casa, 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 songo. Mash up. Yeah man, bless up, bless up. Bless up, man. Bless up. Bless up. Bless up.